Ho, ho, ho. Well, Santa has arrived a little early this year. Yep. Guys, it is Wednesday. And uh, I understand I have a delivery. Shall we take a look? Oh, boy. What could it be? What could it be? The holidays in September and oh, what is that? That is the box, ladies and gentlemen. Now I can tell you, I am not happy with the condition of the box, but uh, you know, as long as the item inside the box is of good condition, very good condition, um, because I don't normally spend this kind of money and yes, I have to uh, somehow pay it back. <laughs> but this is the N SNT 2400, that's right. All right, battery and charger not included. I've got batteries, so I got chargers. So yeah, I would love to have the new charger. Um, but I guess, why don't we use this handy knife and open it up and take a peek. All right, and now I'll be honest, I actually have to report if there's any damage. So this will be a perfect time to crack this open and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so. Oh, God, it's got that new car smell. Oh, wow, it smells so good. Look at that. Oh, man. Woo! All right. I hope nothing's damaged. Oh, please. I mean, look at the cardboard, though. I'll tell you, the cardboard took some hits. It's all bent in. I mean, <laughs> the cardboard's like, yes, we went on a ride. So, <laughs> again, you always have to hope and pray there's no damage. Otherwise, yes, you'll have to send it back and get a new one. But let's think positive, okay? Well, guys, I'm going to pull this out of the box. And then uh, I'll lay it all out. I'll do it in assembly. And uh, I will also compare it to my older model, right? The one and only, you know, Ego Snowblower. And if you've seen that video, I don't know if you've seen... Uh, the video where I compared the new one without having it to my old one. I'll put a link on the top so you can check that out. Um, but, yep, be right back. All right, guys, so I cut the panel on the side down. And I'm going to go ahead and somehow get this out, okay? So bear with me so you can have fun, too. You know, just have a little fun. Oh, wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, why not? Why not join in the fun? Oh, the back wheels definitely help. The back wheels definitely help. All right, get rid of some of the cardboard. Okay. Oh, here's the booklet, which we never look at, don't we? Okay. Oh. Again, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There she goes. She's looking pretty good so far. Okay. Oh, all right. So they, the way they package it with the cardboard, they just kind of have a this protecting it with the chute on top. All right. Okay. And then this is not assembled, so you have to put this on. Okay. But again, they've got the cables attached and everything already. So let me put that aside, as you can see, for those of you wondering how this gets unboxed and how it gets built. Let me take this, put it on the side, take the cardboard off, and ah, oh, here we go. There's a chute. There is the handle. Okay. Here's your spot for your batteries on top. All right, I'll be back. I'll figure out how to assemble it so you don't have to stay on the phone, stay on the video with me We're guessing. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so you see everything's out of the box. Um, I have the chute right there, okay? I have the nut and the bolt that you need for the chute. I've got the handle. And of course, I've got the four screws and the four nuts. Okay, and that's really it. You just really need to put the handle on um, and then the chute on. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna start off putting the handle on for a minute, okay? So camera view will 
not be the best, but give me some time. I'll work on that. All right, so initially what I want to do in this case is take the handle and I want to put it on, okay? And, and then just be careful with your wires, okay? So all I'm doing is just kind of putting it on each side, all right? A little tricky, but I'll get it. All right, once you get it on each side, all right. Okay, now I'm going to just take one of the bolts temporarily and just put them in. I'll do the left side uh, lower bolt, and I'll tell you why I'm starting with the lower bolt. So, oh, okay. All right, so put the bolt in on this side. All right. Uh, Kind of odd, but I'm just holding the top until I get the bolt on. All right, that's one. Okay, I'll tighten that for now. I'll show you why I'm going to loosen it in a little while. Now, let me get the back one. Uh, and I'm so glad this came in. You know, start off September in a wonderful way. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten them up to a certain point, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you something that I really like that they did. All right, so first off, I'm a little taller. So what they did was they actually gave you three settings to actually have the handle up high, medium or low, depending on how tall you are. Now, it is currently at the lowest setting. Now, let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so right here, there are some grooves. Okay, let's check that out. And there's also one, two, three settings. So that's really cool. So right now, it's on the lowest setting. So what I want to do is take a peek at what the lowest setting would be. I got my handy measuring tape here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the floor all the way to here. And on the handle, I'm getting about 36 inches from the floor. Okay, so that's pretty cool. The next one I'm going to do is all the way up. I'm going to go all the way up to the tallest setting because I'm a little taller. So give me a second and I will do that. All right, camera's back in place. So now let me slide this all the way up. And all I'm going to do is pull this up. Okay. It's all the way up. I'm going to hold this temporarily as I tighten the bolt here and tighten the bolt here. All right, so it holds the weight of the handle. Now, what I'm going to do now is just place the screws for the highest setting in the hole. All right. I always have to not tighten the bolts all the way for that reason. So there's my, my screw. Okay. So tie this on. Okay, I won't tighten it all the way, I guess, because I'm going to need some wiggle room. Uh, put this in on this side. Again, loosen, lift, wiggle. And see why. There you go. Came through on this side. I'm going to tighten that up. Take a measurement and see how tall this thing is now as well. So 36 inches on the low, and let's see what it is on the high. All right, I like everything tight. <laughs> you should too. All right, so let's take a peek now at the highest setting and see what the difference is from the floor to the handle. Okay. 
I am getting 39 inches. All right, so there's a three inch. Okay, three inches basically from the lowest setting 36 to the highest setting 39. And I mean, look at that for a second. Take a step back. That's pretty high, you know? So that's good. Now let's put on the chute. Okay, now to install the chute, you're basically going to put it on here, but you're going to make sure that it covers the area here where the snow is going to come out of. All right, so I'll take this. All right, I'm going to put this on here with the screws matching, by the way. So you have the pole with the screw. <clears throat> now, here is my screw hole. So, I'm going to take my screw, put it in, all the way through the other side. Alright, and now all I have to do is tighten my bolt. Oh, the other thing real quick that you want to do, that I didn't do. Okay, this has to be laid down properly. So before you tighten it, make sure that this is laid down properly, and it is. Now I can tighten it. Now we want to test to see if the chute works. So let me zoom out, and let's test our chute. All right, and just see. Chute shouldn't need power because it uses cables. So here is the chute. 200 degree direction as you can see uh-huh yep all the way on each side all right cool the other thing you want to see is does the chute go up and down and by the way you use this tool here to let the chute uh, go down and up you actually have uh, a couple of settings so I'll lighten this up a little bit but you've got um, all the way open, and I'll show you that in a minute. One, two, three, four, five sets settings here. So watch this. Watch the shoot. I'll zoom out. You can see there you've got a couple of settings, and that's kind of cool. It's actually, you know, and it's stable too. Unlike some that you have to tighten with a screw. All right, so not bad. There you go, shoot works. All right, guys. Well, more to come. All right, guys, so now we're gonna just go ahead and do a real close-up of every area on this uh, two-stage blower. So, um, if you're not familiar, um, basically uh, your auger, okay, controls are gonna be here, so you actually have to by the way, to start it, you actually have to push this down, uh, actually hold this start button and push this down. We'll do that later, okay? But you have to have this down while it's running, and you get a couple of settings here that go all the way to turbo, and we're going to show you how turbo sounds, okay? So, you know, all of these settings to control your augers, your metal augers, okay? Um, you have your light button here. Okay, so you'll press the light button, turn your lights on. Uh, for your drive, okay, you're basically going to have this down if you're using your drive. And what is nice is this not only has two sets of high, medium, low, but it also has reverse. So check that out. Is that cool? A little close-up of everything, too, I think helps, right? So, again, your light button, um, your drive system here. All right, your turbo button, all right, for your auger. We'll test that later on, okay? And then let's go ahead and do a nice walk around. I'm going to go here to the to uh, the corner for a second because there's some things I want to show you. So um, your batteries obviously go in, into this compartment. You just open it up from the back, and you've got your battery releases on both sides. And I'll be honest, I did check something. It doesn't look like this fits a 10 amp battery. It has a drop more room 
I'll show you that later on. So um, it looks like it'll go only up to a 7.5. Now, we've always heard the rumor of the 10 amp battery, um, but, and I've seen it online and I've seen places selling it, but I never got my hands on one. All right, let's go down to the wheels. Look at these beefy bad boys. And look at this, they did this whole accent. Isn't that nice or what? So a nice close up of the wheels. All right, 15. All right, as you can see, measurement wise, 15. All right, May, they, they went with a company named Wanda or Wanda. <laughs> All right, your skid plate is here. All right, so you got your skid plate. Um, as we go up more on the side, you've got your tool, all right, to clean your auger. And uh, if you can see that, let's see, can you see that? Oh, that's interesting. Let me see if I could zoom in. Oh, there it goes. So there's the Ego logo, and obviously you've got your cleaner that you can use, all right, and your spot that goes right, right on top. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Now, let's go over... And let me just move this because I get better lighting. All right. So move this. You get to see the auger. All right. Nice steel auger system here. All right. Good close up if everybody wants to see a little more. That's what I try to do on this channel. Now, you got your LED lights as you move up. So check that out. Your LED lights in the front. And you have your LED lights, by the way, in the corners right there on the, on the control unit. You got your LED lights. Okay. Um, again, uh, your Ego lower logo. All right. Again, skid plates. You saw the tires already. 50 foot throwing distance. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Oh, boy. I'm excited. All right. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So it's time. For me to put the batteries in I'll show you what I mean um, as far as maybe this fitting like a 10 amp battery I mean there's a drop extra room you know so it's a drop but I don't know if that's gonna be enough for a 10 amp so I, I just don't think this is gonna be compatible but you never know so put the two batteries in these are the older batteries all right, we're locked in, loaded. Close that up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera in the front so you can see um, the lights. But we're going to start off with checking out the auger. Who doesn't want to see an auger rolling? I mean, come on. We all do. So, let's do that. All right, put the camera in here. And uh, we will zoom in and check the auger out. Actually, well, let's do a real extreme close-up of the auger. All right. We never really get to see an auger this close. All right, give me a second. Now, by the way, I am going to start off on low, and then I'm going to start moving it up, and then I'll let you know when I'm going to, about to hit turbo, okay? scream loud enough <laughs> to tell you that it was turbo but I, I brought it from low all the way up to high and then hit turbo and then from turbo I worked my way back down all right now let's take a peek at these uh, LED lights I, I know it's kind of daytime but why not check them out and see what they look like 
I won't zoom too much into the lights, but let's see what they look like. All right. And now, while the batteries are in, let me just take the camera and show you kind of, yeah, there it goes. Got all the lights on, all right? You got your LEDs there, nice and bright. And you got your LEDs here, nice and bright. Isn't that pretty cool? I'll tell you. That's one sweet machine. Very nice. So here starts the evolution for most people that are out using a shovel. Hopefully one day they upgrade to a snow thrower, right? These little guys. This is a snow joe that I use mostly on my back patio. Does the job. You got to plug it in though, but they do make these in gas as well. And then I've got my Troy Build 24 inch that I've had for a while. It's got uh, six forward and two reverse settings. Um, you know, it's, it's seen its better day, but it's still in pretty good condition. Of course, gas. All right, I have to plug it in to start it and prime it. I have to remove the gas. It's got a cleaner. I've got to remove the gas at the uh, end of the winter. Okay, and then we now have our first battery-operated ego is that cool or what you know and let's take a look at the controls real quick and then you know i figure why not let's just so here are the controls on the troy belt as you can see you've got six um settings for forward and, and you know from one to six and two reverse all right obviously your auger and your drive control and then here we saw this already this beautiful control panel with turbo buttons. <laughs> Gotta love that. Is that cool or what, guys? So there is the evolution. <laughs> oh boy, I'll tell you, that's pretty fun. What's that sound? Is that an exhaust system on the mower? I mean, on the blower? <laughs> No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's this guy. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so now it is time for a comparison. And what I will do when I'm done showing you some of these features, or in between, I will actually put up a sheet so you can see the comparison. And you can hit pause in the video, okay? Let's start off with intake width and intake height. So here you go. The big boy, the SNT 2400 and 2405, has an intake width of 24 inches. So that's the width. And then the height is 20 inches. All right. If I move over to the right to the older model, right? Older, definitely, still available. This is the SNT 2100, but it's also available in a 2102 and a 2103, depending on the batteries. This has got a 21 inch width and a 13 inch height. Now, I will also say the newer model, I will put a slide up obviously, the SNT 2110 and 2114 with the metal augers has the same width and height intake. Okay, let's move over to the Troy Build. This is my uh, current snowblower. So this is a 24 inch width and a little higher on the height at 21 inches. Also very square if you compare this um, to the Ego. And I don't know why, but I guess they did that for the lights. Okay. The throwing distance on these guys. Well, the newer model, right? The Beast, I call it the Beast, uh, basically has a 20, uh, excuse me, up to a 50 foot throwing distance, okay, with this beautiful chute. Now, the older model here is up to 35 feet. Very interesting, huh? And the model that's replacing it, called the SNT 2110-2114, actually will go up to 40 feet. 
I don't know what they did, but you can see that on the screen. It actually is up to 40 feet. Surprisingly enough, the Troy Built on their own website says their model only goes up to up to 25 to 30 feet. All right, so I got that from their own website. Now, steel augers, as you know, the SNT 2400 and 05 have steel augers. As I move over to the older model, the original model, you you don't have steel augers, right? You do not. But the newer model, SNT 2110, 2114 has steel augers, okay? And of course, the Troy built has steel augers. Um, as far as battery and gas, well, as we all know, the, the Troy built is the only gas model here. Now, LED lights, well, the Beast has two sets of lights in the front, two sets of light on the actual control panel. The older model, 2100, has lights, two sets of lights, basically right there um, within where the auger is. And the same for the replacement model with the metal auger. The Troy Built does not have any, but they do make other models, and I believe you have to go up to 26 inches or something to get uh, lights on your mower and a whole lot of other features. So they, they don't really give you much at this level. Now the shoot angle is 200 degrees on this guy, okay? And I guess what I will do, give me a second, is let's go ahead and try to do a demo so you can just see what that looks like, all right? So let's take a look. So if I take this shoot, uh, you'll be able to see that this thing goes all the way 200 degrees. All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the both model uh, ego, you know, the the this specific model here, and now the replacement with the metal auger is 180 degrees. Again, you can control it with this joystick here. Okay, so you basically go there and you go there. Now it almost feels like, it, it seems like it's the same as the newer model 2400, 2405, but it's, it's not. They say that's actually 180 degrees. Now, the, the uh, Troy built is 190 degrees, okay? Now, the, the fun part about this is, is you actually have to use a handle that you have to turn, okay? All right, give me some time now. So it actually uses this handle that basically will turn the chute. The problem with this too though is you have to, I don't know how you keep this running. Um, I think you can keep it running, you have to stop the drive in order to, to uh, use the chute. And that's kind of my experience to be honest with you, I remember that. So that was always fun when I needed to move the chute. I do love the onboard controls of the newer models. Um, as far as wheels are concerned, well the Beast has 15.5 inch wheels. Okay, those are huge. Okay, um, now the the SNT twenty one hundred and uh, the twenty one ten, the, the newer model with the metal auger, still has seven inch wheels. Okay, they didn't change that, so those are seven inch wheels, and you do go into thirteen point four inch wheels with the Troy built. All right, so beefy, but thirteen point four inch. Lastly, guys, the weight. So the, the new guy here, the Beast 2400, is 150 pounds. Now, the 2100 and the 2110 are both 51 pounds. Now, that surprises me because with metal augers, uh, I went to, and, and you, know, you know, to find the, the weight on, on these guys, I had to go to Lowe's website, and I had to also uh, check it there, and they both say 51 pounds. Lastly, this big guy with the gas engine is 195 pounds, and let me tell you, you definitely notice the difference, okay? 
So with that, I hope that was helpful and uh, more information to come. All right, guys, so I'm going to ask you two things. One, give the channel a thumbs up. We're always trying to give you as detailed information as possible. I don't have snow, so I can't do a demo like that right now, guys. But uh, thumbs ups always help. Share the video, you know. I mean, if you're in any chat rooms or whatnot, um, you know, anything, ego chat rooms, whatever, forums, share the video. I'd appreciate it. All right, and if you share the video, let me know. And uh, if you're new to the channel, click the Tech Made Easy logo in the upper right-hand corner that's coming up. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll get notified of new videos. I will also put some of my other videos here in the left-hand corner. Take a look at them. Check out my, uh, um, my videos and my playlists. Thanks so much. You have a wonderful day.